Hey guys, Shong here. In this video, we're going to teach you how to do a neon effect inside of Premiere Pro. First the wrong way, then the quick way, and then a more advanced way. So first we need to have some text, of course. So press T on your keyboard or press the type tool and we're going to click on our preview screen here and we're going to type in neon and move it about so that it's in the middle and I want it to be slightly above the center for now. So now we have the text we are going to do the wrong way first so the first thing you might think oh there is a alpha glow and we can use that however if you ever use the alpha glow it's actually really weird so gonna show you it so now using the alpha glow this glow around the text it's just weird shapes I'm not quite sure why it's like that but um, yeah it just doesn't do it for me it has this weird polygon or diamond shape for the sh glow it's not like a proper glow so that's why I don't really prefer using this method so let's delete it and we're going to show you a quick method to do like the proper glow so now the quick method so the effect that we need is Gaussian blur and go back to the effects here so in effects control we are going to duplicate this text so you need to make sure you have the text already on the place that you want and um, yeah we're now just gonna duplicate it control C control V so now we have a duplicate of it and on the top one we're gonna add a stroke choose a color to it and have it like stroke of 30 or odd yeah depends on how much you want it yourself and then we are going to add blurriness at Gaussian blur so this now will give it that neon glow to it and depends on how strong you want this glow to be just change it here so everything is still in one um, yeah clip so it makes it quite easy also uh, to move the text without um, yeah moving the text inside of the position in the text itself we just change the position at motion so this was the quick method and now we are going to do a more advanced method to, that has like a bit more look to it and also we'll add like a uh, reflection on the bottom so we are going to duplicate this layer uh, several times we're going to hold down alt and drag this up like four times we're going to do quite a lot of things here so we're going to hide several of them and select the top one so inside of effects control we're gonna do several things we're gonna delete one of the texts then delete caution blur gonna turn off this stroke and we're gonna change this field to a black and we're gonna go to blend mode and already choose screen gonna go to effects and what we're gonna search for is bevel so bevel alpha grab that and put it onto the top one now we see like a bevel effect slightly 3d ish so what we're gonna mimic here is basically the gloss of the text and or the gloss of the neon tubes and we can change the thickness so we see it's more prominent and we can also change the angle but for me I feel like it looks okay maybe like slightly more from top like this it really depends on your own taste uh, where you want the angle of light to be and maybe actually just back to normal okay and now we are going to go to the second one under it so this one we are going to change a few things we're going to delete this Gaussian blur and we're going to delete one of the text also and we are going to change this text color to like a blue light blue so from there we will see that 
um, yeah, if we zoom in, we will see that slightly bright edge from it. So we see the bright edge from the glass and then under it, we're gonna turn on that. So now we basically see like this neon effect, but we're gonna still gonna do a few things more. We're gonna go to effects here and we're gonna search for radio, um, not radio, well, we're gonna search for a wipe effect. So we're gonna go to transition and use linear wipe on this second text because we want to have like a bottom to be like bright and basically have like that the neon has like a difference. So go to effects control, gonna change the transition completion. So basically you can see now like one side is brighter than the other side. I'm gonna change the angle to zero and then change the completion until we see like half of the text here. So we have like the bottom we see white and top we see like the light blue. And now we're gonna change the feathering here until we have like a nice feather that you can see like a nice transition from the light blue to the white on the bottom. You can change, still change the completion a little bit so we can play around. So now we have this. We can actually also change this uh, glow a little bit instead of that it's this baby blue that it's like a more darker blue. We can change this white here from this fill to like also a slightly darker blue. So I have a more intense blue hue going on. Maybe not that intense. Slightly lighter. Okay. And now we have like this so it will have like a slightly more advanced with like seeing slightly of a glass and so having like a more interesting hue going on. Now we are going to go to the bottom one and go to the text all the way on the bottom. Delete that and we are going to move this text down so we see this neon. However, we're going to also change this to like that same kind of hue. Have that too. And now also add that linear wipe. And also not forget, we need to go to transform and then vertical flip. Now we can move this text so it's under here, have it slightly not connected and we're going to use that linear wipe, let's drag that to the bottom here and add that completion, this to zero. And here, do this feathering. Now we have that cool, cool, uh, yeah, reflection on the bottom. And that was mainly it. Hope you guys found this a very useful tutorial. If you have any suggestions for more, make sure to comment those here below. And if you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button here below. Thank you guys for watching. Love you all and see you out.